I love innovation. I love cutting edge research. I love getting up to a wall and not knowing what to do next. I've had a very circuitous career, to say the least. My very first job was in environmental testing. We'd climb up uh, 100, 200 foot stacks, cut a hole in the side, and test for uh, pollutants. And then I wound up in the polymer industry, where I took biochemical profiling and knocked off the bio and made it chemical profiling. They'd never seen that before, but it was very easy, one industry teaching the other. I'm particularly proud of working on a project when I was at Duke University. Um, working in HIV vaccine field and we were looking at breast milk and trying to find proteins that neutralize HIV and we were able to find one that was called tenacin C and that project is now leading to the development of prophylactic agents that will help to prevent mother-to-child transmission in sub-Saharan Africa. Many jobs I walked into being the person who quote-unquote didn't know anything about the field was able to teach them so much because I had a different way of looking at things. We live in the era of cross-functional teams. The team that I'm in now has an analytical chemist, a microbiologist, engineer, and a polymer chemist. The crossroads of all these ideas that come from all these different areas is where innovation lies. And sometimes just getting everybody to communicate effectively is the problem. Always be thinking about transferable skills because the likelihood of you staying in one job with one industry and one career is very unlikely. We'll always be looking at that instrument, that technique, that knowledge that you can then transfer over into another industry, something that other people will be looking for. The American Chemical Society improves lives through the transforming power of chemistry. Help us increase the visibility of chemists and inspire young scientists by sharing this video. Or, share your own story as part of the ACS What Chemists Do project.